Hi friends, this is Armugam and welcome to Tamil Bumi. So, I have done a lot of videos in around 200 videos in Tamil and many people are asking me to translate the videos and put make it in English so that it will be useful for many people. So I, uh, I thought okay let's uh, make the videos in English and today I am going to talk about the experience. There are many people are having experience around 3 plus to 16 plus years of experience. They have experience in Informatica, they have experience in SQL, they have experience in Java and PeopleSoft and what not. You can say many things. There are people's experience in multiple technologies but what happens is sometimes they wanted to switch their career from one technology to another technology. Like I am from Hadoop Big Data. So I'll talk about how to switch your career from your current technology to any Big Data and Hadoop or Spark. And there are a lot of openings in Spark and Hadoop. But previously, if you learn Hadoop, let's say it's Hive or uh, let's say it's Hive Scoop, that is enough. Because uh, the many of the projects are comes from those lines. So if you learn those technology and if you know bit of Java, that is enough to switch for your career. But right now the technology stack has been changed. So every three year or every two year, I would say every two year, the technology stack has been slowly changing. So currently the stack you would need to learn at least is uh, Spark is mandatory and then you have to learn at least either one of the programming language. Some want Python, some want Scala, some want Java. So you can learn any one of the programming language but one programming language is kind of mandatory right now. So you have to focus on that. And after that in our addition to that you have to learn any one of the NoSQL platform like you might have to learn HBase or Cassandra or something like that because that many projects were started using that as a backend to store the data they started using my like no skill databases so you have to learn that as well and currently as you might aware kafka apache kafka has been used for many projects as a streaming uh, like a message distribution engine i have made a video about apache kafka you can check it out in my channel so that you will understand what is kafka and these are basic set of uh, tools which people want which the companies want us to learn and uh, also we need to learn Hadoop basics of SDFS and then you have to learn about uh, <coughs> SDFS you learn and then Hive and Scoop that's like ABCD you have to learn it there is no other way you anyway have to learn that after that on top of that you need to learn this stack then it is easy for you to switch it is easy for you to switch your career so that you are you can grow well so this is a basic requirement currently in the market for switching to big data and Hadoop and speaking about your experience like let's say you are three plus years of experience like uh, currently i can say that one plus years of experience even can they can switch from one technology to another technology i can see many openings that there is not much but if you are three plus there is a perfect time to switch because many mncs starting uh, like experience is three so they would be open the doors for your experience and you can easily switch and uh, if you are three plus to 16 yeah 16 years plus i maximum I have seen people who switched their career from one technology to another technology in 16 years, 16 plus years of experience. Basically, if you are 3 plus or 1 plus, the questions mostly it will be revolved around your project, what you work, what's your day to day activities and how do you move the code from one environment to another environment and how do you deploy the code, how do you develop. These kind of questions basically evolve around you if you are uh, switching in 3 years of experience. And if you go a little bit up and you might have to five years to eight years, you might be considered for uh, <clears throat> like senior developer or team leader. So in that time you will be asked about asked to ta talk about different kind of tools and why do you use the tools and what is your project use use case? Why do you are you in the project? What is the business use case for the project and why you need to come to big data? This is a common question for all the experienced people. So you have to learn why you are coming to big data, why your project is moving to big data, what is the use cases and how much data you are having and your answer should justify the fact that why it is coming to big data. If that is justifiable then it is easy for you to switch and it is easy for you to get a job. So that is the basic thing and if you are uh, like uh, some years of experience in other technology let's say SQL or uh, like uh, SQL Server, Teradata or anything it may be. You learn all these things from some institute or you learn self-learning or there are tons of courses online you can learn from them and once you learned it after that you have to at least do some of the practice you have to do practice in your own PC so and you have to like execute and get some knowledge after that you can say like you worked in one year in this technology because 
this will take around six months to i would say three months minimum three months to six months it would take after that you can prepare your resume like you have to study the project and you have to combine the projects and you make your resume and then float it so initially one or two interviews might not go well don't worry about it get some help get some like uh, tutor so that you know where you are making the mistake and once you come home you just take notes of what are the questions been asked to you so that you will you know what to do next what to learn what to you can crack in the next interview that's it that's the uh, same thing like initially currently i'm seven year like 6.5 years of experience and when i was initially uh, like uh, switching around three years back it was a small company i am from chennai basically so there i was faced with half an hour questions like they were asking me questions and questions and questions which i'm not able to answer even a single one so it was really depressing and i was okay that's it oh yeah up to i will not be able to switch <laughs> like that it happened but the the good thing is next in the very next interview i cracked the interview and i got in so it doesn't matter how many bad experience how many questions you are able to uh, you are not able to answer you just note down every question that's been asked you in the interview and then so that next interview you will be able to crack it that is a very mandatory thing you have to do and for 16 year experience for 12 years 16 years 10 years you have to learn architecting like why are you going to use this why are you using this tool for this problem let's say you are having multiple like uh, lakhs of records coming in flow in a streaming which tool you will use in big data because big data is not about single tool if it is a informatica or something it's a single tool you can learn it you can learn go depth deep into that and you can learn something la like that it's kind of easy but big data it's having a lot of tools if you just uh, blink your eye there is one more new tool happen right now so you know we don't know what's happening so that much tools are coming which tool is better performing and what to use so you have to update your knowledge and you have to un understand the core of this okay why i want to use hbase why i want to use hive on what time i have to use hbase what time i have to use hive these differences you must know these are the interview key points so if you can say these things it is easy for you to crack interview and come into big data and spark and one of the main thing what i'm seeing is people they are not able to learn about yarn like yarn and spark why it is having back to back and why yeah like many of the spark jobs that is running in yarn why it's happening so these kind of questions you must answer yourself you must prepare the answers then go into it and your day to day things and everything so for uh, architecting you have to learn all the tools why it is used why, like what is the reason and uh, how, how do you manage a project and what is the project is going on those things everything is common plus your domain knowledge don't worry if you are just learning spark you are not a fresher you will not be considered as a fresher in any company because you already have it experience of six years or seven years or whatever you have plus your big data experience is three years or one year whatever you worked or you learned that you can put so that you can easily manage because it exp you have the it experience that you have to keep in mind you already you are you are experienced you are not a fresher to go and learn it's not like that so the salary package also will come according to that because your experience so your salary package also will be coming like 30 percent hike or 50 percent or 100 100 percent if you are uh, getting few more offers you might be able to get 100 percent of hike that is also possible so these are the things which we need to keep in mind while switching the job three years to 16 years and yes i have trained more than 150 people right now and many people have switched successfully and the most uh, top uh, experience is 16 plus who switched, uh, switched their career to hadoop big data and if you have any queries or questions you can comment in the video and or you can i'll just uh, put my twitter linkedin and uh, github links in the description you can connect me and my whatsapp number is just now displaying in this bar if you have any questions you can just whatsapp me i'll answer you and if you need any specific video in any topic any specific topics you can always comment or uh, whatsapp me and yeah subscribe to our channel for more hadoop or technical machine learning data science videos are coming for you and this is just to give you a blunt picture like many institutes are i can see many lot of videos it is like doing butter and it's not giving a clear picture so i just wanted to give you a clear picture this is what happening in the industry this is what you have to learn this is what you will get so that is what you can expect from this channel from the upcoming videos and uh, yeah if you like this video hit the thumbs up like share it to your friends if you are technical friends share it to your friends and if you need more videos just comment your questions i'll see you in the next video so this is Aramugam signing off bye bye